right, it is our first full week of spring. It is our second week of a new life of social distancing. And let me tell you, get your inside stuff done early on this week because the second half of the week is going to be great for being outside. Our average high temperature this time of year is 66, and we were nowhere near that today. It just wasn't pretty out today, I'll be honest with you. A little bit warmer tomorrow. And then we jump into the 70s by Wednesday and Thursday. We're back close to 80 on Friday. And outside right now, we still have a little bit of rain. It's been pesky rain kind of on and off throughout the day. Nothing all that heavy, nothing severe. But you can see some light rain. There's one little batch up here on I-95 northeast of the Triangle in parts of Halifax and Northampton County. Everything's kind of moving straight west to east. And then there's some light rain and sprinkles kind of around the Triangle. So this will hang around through tonight. And our temperatures will hang around where they are now. They're not going to move that much as we head into the overnight hours. So the mid to low 50s we have down in the Sand Hills right now and the mid to upper 40s we have in the Triangle and along the Virginia border, there might go down a degree or two, but nothing drastic. We got a lot of thick cloud cover, and overnight, thick cloud cover is like a thick blanket. It kind of keeps you warm. It holds you where you are, and that's kind of what our temperatures are going to do. Upper 40s now, overnight, and mid to upper 40s as you begin your Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning will also start with a little bit of fog, and our rain chances for now will stay very small, just around the 10 to 20 percent rain. About the fog tomorrow, Again, I know we have different schedules about when we leave or if we have to leave, but if you do have to venture out early tomorrow morning, our visibilities could be limited. A lot of numbers up here. Remember, on a clear morning with no fog, all of these should say 10, as in 10 miles visibility. A lot of reduced visibility tomorrow, partially because some of the water that's already in the ground. Of course, what a change we all underwent this weekend after mid and upper 80s on Friday. Got cooler this weekend, and it stayed that way today. Well, the front that did that is still kind of parked to our south. So we have that, and we have high pressure to our northwest that's filtering in cool air. That, along with the mountains, everything's kind of locked into place. And that's why it's cloudy now, and that's why it's going to stay that way overnight, and temperatures aren't going to move that much. But eventually, we're going to break out of this funk. We'll warm up. We'll get some sunshine in here, along with some drier weather. But between now and that time, it's going to stay pretty busy. Here's what I mean. I want to pick up the weather map tonight at 11 o'clock. You can see we're cloudy, but mostly dry weather. And that's the way it'll be early on tomorrow morning. So here we are at 6 a.m. Through noon, we stay mostly cloudy and mostly dry. The rain chance tomorrow is late in the day. Here we are at 5 o'clock. Notice a batch of rain getting ready to move in. The heavier stuff stays generally to our south, but we have scattered showers through tomorrow evening. So again, most of the day tomorrow is dry. Watch out for some rain tomorrow night. Then as we get into Tuesday night and Wednesday morning, that's when we have a chance of thunderstorms. Here we are at 3 a.m. Wednesday. So this is going to be one of those things where overnight you're going to hear some rain, maybe a rumble of thunder as you are drifting off to sleep. 6 a.m. Wednesday, good batch of heavy downpours and then some scattered showers through 9 a.m. before the rain starts to move out Wednesday at noon. So early Wednesday morning, we'll have to watch out for some rain. Also early Wednesday morning, areas east of I-95 could have a marginal risk of severe weather. So it's late in the day tomorrow, early in the day Wednesday. Our best chances of rain all week because as you can see, we dry out Thursday and Friday. We're dry this weekend with temperatures in the low 80s.